Hello everyone, my name is Sierra from Visa Place and welcome to Immigration Tube where we keep you updated with the latest news in immigration and hopefully help you reach your immigration goals. I highly recommend hitting the subscribe button up there so you're notified when we have a new video uploaded that could possibly help you out. In this video, I will be talking about B1 business visitor visas to the US. So let's get started. Let's say you're needed in the United States for a meeting, project, or anything else business related for your job in your home country. This is very, very popular and you may need a B-1 visitor visa to enter. It's important to know that like the L-1 visa and TN visa, the B-1 visa is temporary and those holding a B-1 visa are expected to return to their home country after the business activity is over. Canadians are exempt from needing a B-1 visa and instead will get a stamp on their passport for B-1 status to enter the U.S. The fields a B-1 visa holder may conduct work in include research and design, growth, manufacturing, and production, marketing, sales, distribution, and after sales service. When on a B-1 visa, you're able to attend business meetings, consult with associates, attend business conferences and conventions, negotiate contracts, investigate business opportunities, and purchase property in the United States. And last but not least, you will need to prove ties to your home country, such as bank records, prove that you have close family relatives in your home country, property deeds, or any other documentation that shows that you'll be returning to your home country. You will also need documents showing that you will be engaging in B-1 business activities. While the B-1 visa process is relatively easy, problems can arise when immigration officers suspect that you are entering the U.S. to work rather than just visit for temporary business purposes. In this case, you could be refused admission to the U.S. and be asked to obtain a U.S. work visa instead. To avoid this happening or figure out your next steps, if you are refused, it's important to speak with an immigration professional. Here at Visa Place, we have worked with many cases like this, so if you or anyone you know has any more questions or concerns about the B-1 visa, please contact us today and we can't wait to work with you.